Hey guys, what's going on? It's DHDS Racer. Uh, some people refer to me as Don. That would be my real name. You're probably going to see that around a little bit. But um, so what I'm doing here is I'm testing out some batteries, some Turnigy batteries, a Park Zone battery. Uh, I got a little power setup here with a watt meter, a little speed control servo uh, servo tester to control my throttle, and an uh, in-runner motor with a 6x4, kind of a setup uh, that a lot of people with like Easy Stars and such use. So what I'm doing is I'm testing out a couple different batteries. First one I'm throwing on here is a Turnigy 2200 milliamp hour 20C discharge. These are all three cell batteries, by the way. Three cell spec'd at the same milliamp hour. So um, I'm basically spinning it up to full throttle, doing a couple bursts and seeing how many watts I can get out of that battery. It's all the same setup, so basically it'll just uh, let me know how much juice the battery is allowing to come out at once. So um, that was the 20C discharge. This is the same identical battery, but a 25C discharge. Probably a couple dollars more to get this battery. Want to see what kind of performance difference there is between them. Granted, it depends on the plane you're using, or the helicopter, or the boat, whatever you're using. But um, for the most part, the higher the C discharge is, um, the less stress it puts on your battery and the electronics. So here's where I mix it up. I throw in a Park Zone battery. A lot of people are really afraid of picking up batteries from China. They think they're just going to be cheap garbage. So I'm going to throw in, this is about a $50 battery. I think it's like 46 bucks online. Um, you know, this is a what's considered a moderately high end, not top of the line, but moderately high end. And I'm comparing it to the, the $10 to $15 batteries. So you'll see in the results uh, how those compare at the end of the video. But, uh, you know, it's a good battery. If you've got it, use it. Now, this is the monster. This is a nanotech. Uh, Hobby King offers nanotechs. They are amazing. They charge at 5 to 10 times faster. This is a 10C. The majority of the smaller ones are 5C charge rates. This thing, if you've got a charger that can do it, these will save you so much time charging up. Um, also, they can output significantly more. This is 45 to 90C discharge. So this will not stress the battery at all to run it. So as you can see, the 2220C is the cheapest battery, 38.5, so 238.5. You go only go up by less than a watt when you go to the 25C discharge. The Park Zone is exactly the same as the Turnigy, and the Nanotech blew them all away, went 10 watts over. So major output difference there. The Nanotech charges faster, is a little bit more expensive, but it will give your plane the extra power. So um, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, you enjoyed a little bit of this content. Feel free to comment, subscribe, blah, 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 all the typical stuff. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. See ya.